In this video, we're going to talk about processes, how to build a process globally within each company and the additional features that go along with them. Starting off though, let's move to the admin section where we can build out our global processes. We start off in the admin tab, then the global process template here on the left. Now we have some existing items here and if we wanna start creating one, we can start with this left hand side. In this case, we can start with a basic name and as I'm demoing how to create a process template, we'll start there. Now we get to build one each step by step as we'd like, but now let's talk about what it looks like to build one within the client section. I'm gonna to navigate to the company section, Tesco, and now we have processes down below. Here we have a couple of our examples. And if we wanna create a new one, we can start here and we can see that demo example below. If we wanna start a new process, we can also begin our process creation from this section. But let's say I want to create a new, adding a technician to Hoodoo, I get to create from my template. And now we can get started with each of these items. So we've talked about creating processes. Now let's talk about the features in each of them. So we have that brand new process here. And let's talk about those starting features. Here we have our create user and on each step, we can assign a user. In this case, I'll assign myself. And we can assign a due date. So let's say we want this due by the end of the week. I'm going to assign due date, assign my user, and we can also set our priority. We'll call this a normal priority. And we have these tags updated for this first task. And we can do those on each of these levels. The great thing about assigning an individual user due date and priority is it will also show up on their dashboard. So as I navigate back to my dashboard, we can see that we have this task here, the specific process example attached to the longer example process. We can see the priority and the due date. And by clicking this link, we get to be brought back directly into that task. Another really cool feature to talk about is how we can share processes. In this case, we get to share a real time status report. So if it's a client or just a manager or anyone who wants to see how this is moving along, we can copy the URL and I'll open this up in a new window and you'll get to see a live feed. So if I go over here and we actually complete this task, this will also be opened in our share link. So if I refresh this page, we'll see that we now have that first step completed. This will refresh itself every 30 seconds to a minute, but we can just refresh the page manually if we want to see it update sooner than that. Finally, let's talk about turning those processes into a template. We can see those templates up here at the top, and these can be assigned to individual asset entities. In order to do that, we can select new. And in this case, we have our demo from before. So if I hit create from template, I now convert this to a template. So now we can activate this using an asset. In this example, we'll go to our desktop and this one needs to be set up. So while we don't have any information here, we want to assign a process on how to fill out this info and set up a new PC. So what I'll do is I'll navigate to our processes on my right hand side, select add. And now we get to choose from our base templates. If you don't set your process as a template, like we did with demo, then it will not show up in this section, but you can quickly convert it to a template and have that be accessible. In this case though, we have a new PC setup. So I'm going to start based off template. And now we can see the new PC process is assigned to the individual with the number of tasks completed to the number of tasks to do. I can always click into this process complete each step as I need, adding in new information, adding in the assigned user and due date as I like. We can always go back and see at the top of our bar that we can navigate to our desktop as we like. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out. We're always happy to answer questions or feel free to submit a ticket. And we're always happy to talk about Hoodoo. Thank you.